the wealth that they have. Uh huh. And and this is men. We're talking about like minerals. You know, Kenya has Kenya has uh, flora. Kenya has titanium. It has all these minerals that, especially young people, do not really pay much attention to. Uh huh. Could be the number one job creator for young people in the country. Oh, yeah, that's so, true. The thing is, they they don't understand much about it. So my job is to make sure that they they go through all all these things uh, to make them more interesting for the young people or the younger generation to look at it as an employment avenue or a job creator for them. Oh, okay. So with all these new things uh, this year for you, what else do you have planned for 2018? <laughs> um 2018 honestly i think it's it, it's that year where i won't say that i won't get back into the media maybe i will at this point uh-huh. yeah but i i took a break from it last year okay yeah. so 2018 less of media more of the corporate communication um strategic communication <laughs> okay and and a lot of digital uh, communications as well or possibly be doing a lot of uh, communications about all things business or oh, oh. like digital platforms yeah oh, okay that's very interesting and that's nice so that means um under where you're working you'll be incorporating a lot of youth yes a lot of youth um this year we want to focus more on journalist training mm-hmm. uh, because if journalists don't understand uh, mining and extracting then they won't be able to communicate it as, as well yeah. we want to do some journalist training uh, this year mm-hmm. but also we want to do a uh, youth and mining forum mm-hmm. where we help the young people to understand um, The, let's say the, the mining related courses that they can study or you know, that they can apply for say at higher institutions of learning uh-huh. yeah um, at higher institutions of learning maybe yeah. they can um, then get to know that because you see what, what we have in the mining sector at the moment uh-huh. is that there's a lot of um, expatriates coming into the country mm-hmm. And they take up like the top managerial position. Yeah. That leaves the larger Kenyan population doing either middle management or low entry level uh, jobs mm-hmm. in the mining sector. So for younger people to to be at the top, you know, because they are the future of of this sector. Yeah. So if they are not educated on what exactly is required, mm-hmm. uh, so that at the end of the day we do not have our, our foreign mining companies coming into the country and managing our minerals for us and taking out all the revenue. When that we get to that phase where more young people are taking up um, positions, then you know that at least mm-hmm. we are creating wealth and trickling down to the same people. who come from the communities where these minerals are located. Yeah. Yeah, so we would like to focus more on encouraging young people to tap into mining and extractives, grow their careers in mining and extractives, and also just look at it as, as a way of transforming lives and, and creating wealth for the Kenyan people at large, both uh, the educated and the semi-skilled and, and skilled labor as well. Mm, okay, that's, that's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Doreen, for the interview. It was an actually an educative one. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you so much, and have a good day. All right. Thank you. Okay.